Hey guys, it's Kayane here with my first video on this channel. So I decided to make a game and I'm very excited to do so because I have been planning on doing this for five or six years. So yeah, it's very, really, very nice to finally getting to do something with this, with this thing. So in this video, I'm going to briefly uh, talk to you about what's the idea behind the game, uh, not going to the specifics. And I will also show you some code so you will understand how things are supposed to work uh, behind the scenes here. Okay, so uh, for now the game is called Six Worlds and it's a, a turn-based RPG-like game. So if you don't like that kind of game, goodbye. <laughs> of course I'm joking, uh, I'm basing everything on this old idea, the turn-based uh, RPG games, but I have some pretty ambitious plans to add some, some really, really interesting technology to this. Uh, last year I started working uh, on, on this library here, so I have some uh, genetic algorithm here and uh, working on uh, experimenting with some uh, new stuff for neural networks. And I plan on investing a lot of time with uh, the artificial intelligence for this game. Uh, so what can I say about, about it? So uh, the, the world itself is going to be procedurally uh, generated because apparently this became a trend but I want to try and make the storyline of the game to be also automatically generated and I I want to make it really impressive I want the story to be wow that kind of stuff you know exciting stuff not uh, you know this is repetitive and things like that because this is a, a huge problem uh, with procedurally generated content you know uh, I've seen it fail multiple times uh, with projects like things that are actually different but they all look the same, they all follow a pattern because everything is based on pattern. So this will be a big challenge to overcome, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So yeah, the idea is uh, you travel on the map, You, as always, you find items, you find people but all the characters are supposed to be uh, persistent and they interact with each other which is a great thing in the game so maybe uh, you you want to buy let's say a special helmet but you don't have enough gold so you go on a quest and then you come back with gold but you find out that the helmet was actually sold to another guy and you, and you can't buy that because the, the characters turned out they interacted behind your back, you know, and uh, I, I don't know. This is this is the one of the ideas. Uh, during a fight, for example, uh, sometimes in the movies you see two people fighting and they are also talking, like they they are shouting at each other and fighting. And sometimes in the movies, one of the guys gets to convince the other that they are wrong. So people who are fighting eventually in the middle of the battle they become allies. And I want all that kind of interactions to be all generated dynamically. This is of course going to be a big challenge once again, but that's what I'm up to, that's what I'm going to try and make. And hopefully I won't need to make everything alone by myself, because the idea behind this channel is that you guys get involved in the project, we can exchange ideas. I don't know about the licensing, I don't know if this is going to be open source or not, but at least for now the code is here just for me, but I will show you enough code snippets and the idea behind everything. So I'm, I'm really uh, willing to share and get something in exchange, which is of course your feedback. Okay, so this is the, the basic idea behind the game. So now let me show you some code. Hopefully this section of the, the video is not going to be too boring <laughs> because I will show uh, ideas. Uh, we're, we're not going to do a line by line thing, don't worry. So. Uh, I believe I don't have a lot of a lot of experience coding games, but I have experience coding other things. And I believe that building a generic class for a game object is a good idea. It's a good start, you know. So everything in the game is going to be a game object. I don't think this is very original, but I think that it works. So a game object can be a generic object. Uh, those things, the generic game objects, are mostly 
uh, are supposed to work transparently. The, the player is not supposed to interact with a lot of this. It's supposed to be doing uh, background tasks, you know, things that make the game work, basically. So an item is also a game object. And items are basically things that you store in your inventory. So you can use them, upgrade, destroy, drop, and things like that. The player itself is a game object so, it, so that it can interact with other things and it will be very clear once I show you the rest of the code. And this type here, I'm calling it a character. So it's basically all the other entities, you know. So if you're trying to buy something from someone, this someone is a character. A horse, a rabbit can be a character, a monster, uh, your enemies, you know. Uh, the skill kind of game object is very special because the game will be mostly, uh, as I think now, concentrated about the skill sets that you have. Skills, of course, can be evolved like any RPG kind of game. And they have something special that uh, I will comment more about those things in the future. Effects. Effects is something that I'm... I'm here like planning, I'm using the code for planning as well. So this is pretty poor uh, software engineering, but this is a good beginning, you know. I have to start somewhere. So effects are are supposed to, to act on things like uh, if you get poisoned or if something catches on fire. Uh, so yeah, I have to keep track of those things and every effect has a duration and things like that. Maybe this will be, uh, this will be useless because maybe the skill uh, the skill classes are, are going to be able to take care of the effects, but for now, I will just leave it here for ideas. There are the objects, and I'm not sure if this is going to stay as well, because objects maybe can be replaced for items, but the concept is a little bit different. Like, uh, picture a room with a bunch of furniture. So I have sofa, tables, and chairs, and in this game you have to, for example, change uh, the furniture. So uh, it's usually you would uh, break the objects into items so that they go to your inventory and then you can place the items back in the room so they become objects and objects will block your way when you go through the, you know, things like that. So they are different concepts, but I don't know if I can represent both with a single, uh, it is a single structure in, uh, in the code. Talking about structures, uh, structures, for example, if you want to trade with someone, you just need to find that person somewhere uh, in the map. But eventually I will maybe be able to do shops and uh, stories, and then those are going to be structures. So there are gods in the game as well. And maybe you get to build a shrine or a temple for the gods, so structures. And the commands, they are really simple, but I think it's going to be more clear if I explain by showing you an example later on. Um, okay, this class also provides a bunch, bunch of generic stuff like the random number generator right here. Every object has a name and description and it has links, which is kind of interesting because objects can be linked uh, to each other in very interesting ways. Uh, a simple way to, to put it, for example, you can have a bag and link that bag to the player and other objects objects that go inside your inventory can be linked to the bag so that you can carry the items. But it can do a lot of uh, other complex things like attach effects to your sword or to your gun, something like that. Uh, this is all the link control here. Uh, execute, this function is going to be very, very important because this is what is is going to, to make the game capable of doing chain reactions, like every object is capable of executing uh, actions on other objects. So this is why I think that this whole class maybe is supposed to be abstract. I'll probably change this class to an abstract, abstract class to force the, the other class, the other classes extend on it to implement uh, this function because it's very much necessary. And so that when you when you when you get hit by something. Uh, like your armor can execute something and everything attach, attach it to your armor can also execute something. So this will make things very much easy to extend in the future and make the game very much complex. Uh, it's a network of, of game objects. So uh, more auxiliary functions like uh, random numbers in a range, this run type here, like when I build a map, 
uh, I need the map to have a random number of people inside it with random items and chests and structures. So that I need a function to get a random thing out of this list here to add uh, inside the map. This is why this function is here. Debug, of course, is very much necessary and this allows a object to say its name and what's going on. And down here we have all the getters and setters. And that's all. This is the most interesting class for now and the base of everything. Here we have an example of the item, which is a class extending the game object. So yeah, it inherits everything from that. But for now, I assume that every item has a value and a amount. So that, for example, if you get two of the same item or three or whatever, they can uh, stack together and we just increase the amount of these items. Yeah? Um, also, maybe uh, the items uh, will have a durability a owner and a level, like a sword level 3 or level 4, something like that, so that you know if you can handle that object or not, or if you need something. So those things, I left all, all of this open because this is day one. <laughs> this is me coding for the first day of, the, of designing, of development for this game. Okay, And uh, the most boring class is this one, which is temporary. Because I want to focus on the logic of the game, I want the background, I want the, 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 the back end working before anything. So I don't want to worry about graphics now. So the game doesn't have a graphic interface, graphical interface for now. It will have, okay? It will have, you'll see a lot of grass and buildings and people walking around. But for now, it's just a form, you know? I just have a frame. Let me fire the game so you so we'll, you will understand. Once again, this is not the game. This is just so I can test uh, the functionalities that I'm working on currently. So I have this field here where, for example, uh, if you see your inventory here, it will, it will say inventory up here. That's about it, you know? And a status bar here. Okay, so in your inventory, for example, you're gonna have the maps. So click on it and you will see all the locations uh, in the map. And if you click in one of the locations, you will see who is there and what is there. So you can fight the people there, talk to the people there. And this list basically will work as a navigator. Okay, so you can browse through uh, everything that is uh, in the game. That's the, the base idea here. And uh, well, this allows me to test everything with the game. Okay, and this is where commands uh, play a role here, because uh, if since you're navigating through things, you need a way to go back and forth and go back to your inventory. So those are the commands and save and load the game and things like that. They are all going to be uh, game objects as well, so I can list and interact with those here easily and extend this in the future. <laughs> Okay, guys, so uh, this is basically everything that I have for now. This is day one. Uh, this is my first video for this channel. Hopefully, I was able to pick your interest uh, for this channel. Uh, if so, you may subscribe so that you can see my next videos. I really uh, would appreciate if you guys could post your comments because I need feedback. I need you guys to tell me if this is interesting, if, if you have any suggestions. Uh, just tell me, just tell me in the comments. It's there. I, I, I will answer every comment that I, that I find. Of course, this is a new channel, so almost nobody has access to it, but hopefully in the future, more people will be watching this. And finally, uh, this channel is not just about programming, so uh, don't get scared if you see a completely, uh, a video that's completely different from what you expect, because I like to play with other things like uh, uh, electronics, like doing experiments, I like to do research with computer science, so you, you're going to see me doing the genetic algorithms and uh, the neural network as a generic library, not specifically to the game, uh, and I even like to do social experiments, so we will do some crazy stuff, we will do uh, video experiments, like everything really. This channel, I plan on having a lot of fun. My goal here is to be entertaining and doing fun stuff with you guys together. So yeah, please subscribe if you find everything interesting here. And if you have any constructive criticism, I am of course very much open. So yeah, you can follow me on Twitter as well. I will be, I try to, I will try to be very much active there. Uh, and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>